everybody and welcome. This is Demo Donna with Queen and Company. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you stopping by to come hang out with us on this lovely Thursday evening in February. I hope you're all doing well. The weather's treating you well. And I hope you look forward to another fun video. We're going to do something a little different tonight. Or maybe this is something you've done before. Or maybe you want to try something new. So we are going to do a peekaboo shaker. And the intention is to put your shaker behind another foundation die. And I am going to walk you through that. I am using the Bring On Spring kit, something we're all rooting for right now. Bring on spring, let's do it. De-icing my driveway every day. It's not so fun anymore. I'm like you guys. I'm a regular like snowy person now going, okay, I'm ready for flowers and sunshine. So if you are new to Queen and & Company and you don't know about this adorable kit, there's a lot of fun things about it. First of all, two bunnies, a chick, a carrot, two eggs, actually three eggs, an Easter basket, a tulip, and I think that's it. A lovely stamp set. So in this kit, you get 18 still dies, six by six paper pad, clear stamps, which I am going to talk about, and then foam and acetate shakers. Fun fact about this kit is it has an amazing strip of grass, which is included in this kit. See this dye here? It is fabulous and very versatile. So even if you're not a big, if you're not a big spring person, but you like grass dyes, this kit is for you. <laughs> uh, uh, what I love about it is the fabulous stamp set. So you've got nice large font and there are a lot of sayings in here that don't necessarily have to be for Easter or spring. For instance, we're, the two that we're using tonight is this chick loves you, super cute. For some bunny special, we've also got O for peep sakes, which is really cute. And I hope you have, oh, that's Easter. There are, oh, thanks bunches, I'm rooting for you. Hey, Chicky. So super cute stamp sayings in this kit. Again, that could be used year round, which is why I absolutely love this kit. And the grass dye, who's with me? Who has this kit and uses the grass dye on all sorts of things? Right, right, raise your hand, raise your hand. Is it just me? Who knows? Okay, so we are gonna scooch our little bunny one away and we are going to work on our chick one and then finish up our bunny so to get started i know you've seen this i i know i've warned you that i will be using this until it's no longer available because i love it so these are the new endless add-ons which come with two fantastic dies and tonight i am literally using it for the border and for the actual heart cutouts. And I'm not even going to be using it for this beautiful background, these hearts. Again, we are going to cover that all up and that is going to be the border. So what I've done so far is I have taken foundation die number eight, which is going to be the base of my card. And then I've just glued on the endless die, this heart die here. And then the next thing that I'm going to be adding on is from foundation die number 19. And the two paper pads that I am using, I have hid from myself. Here they are. It's always just a matter of time before I find what I'm looking for. So I am using the Bring On Spring Kit just for this polka dot background and for my adorable little chick. So I also used the yellow because it's a softer yellow. Now the backgrounds and the hearts, Everything else was cut out with the delightful dots. I wanted a bright, colorful pop and the delightful dots and the stripes and the patterns 
I know there's a rainbow trio of these paper packs. Lots of fun, lots of bright colors. So those are the two paper pads that I am using this evening. Again, just these fun circles, beautiful background, and then the bright, the bright, the light yellow for my chick body. My little chick body, we need it to be a lighter yellow. So this guy here is from Foundation Dye number 19. I didn't test it out, but you might also be able to use, do this technique. Well, no, I can't. I, I take that back. I was thinking you could also use that strip from number 11, but this covers up the background perfectly. So you're gonna want this one from number 19. And it goes from end to end, which is perfect. I'm gonna take a little rolly adhesive. There we go. And I am just going to layer that the important part is you don't want any of your background exposed. So I am fully covering up my beautiful hearts. It's hard to do, but this is the look we're going for, a cool little pattern in the background, a cool little border. And I'm gonna show you the chick, the bunny card that I did too. So you can also do it with solids. Still both circles, so here is the fun background, and then here is a nice solid blue. All right, so next, I'm gonna show you guys how you create this fun little peekaboo foundation die to go on top. And I am using foundation die number 19, and then I am using the heart. Now you can use the outline die, or you can use the decorative die that comes in the kit, and these are from the PS I Love You kit. You can probably try out the hearts kit to check to see if that'll work as well. You know, dig around to see what kind of fun kits with big hearts. You can also do other shapes. You can do a circle in here for a peekaboo shaker. So what I did is I took my white cardstock. I just kind of centered my little heart, made sure there was enough room on the bottom for my stamp saying. So I kind of put the heart up a little bit closer, ran that through my die cut machine with the white card stock, and then you get this. Of course, I stamped it after that. But then you get this fabulous little peekaboo foundation die. So the next step is I simply took some pieces of my foam, and I just laid little pieces on the sides here. And the reason I did just the sides is because my little chick needs to fit. So when you're adding your foam, just make sure you have enough room for whatever shaker you're using for your peekaboo shaker. And again, I just trimmed little pieces of my extra foam and used that just like so. Again, this is gonna be hidden, so it's okay. Okay, so now we are gonna create our adorable little chick shaker. This chick loves you. That's what it says right there on the stamp. So, you know, can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna pull off the adhesive protector and I am gonna lay my chick on the outline die, give it a good swish you have to commit to the chick. Oh, D. Isn't that the truth? All right, I am going to peel off that foam extra piece. Again, another bonus. You've got more adhesive for another time. Save that. I save it all. It's what every husband wants to hear. Save it. Save it. Oh, just save it. I'm going to definitely need that. Okay, something I've been dying to use since I received these, but there are so many fun things, it's always hard to go in and pick and decide. I'm finally using Biddy Blooms tonight. Woohoo, the crowd goes wild. I love these, these are adorable. These came out with our crafty concession stand like a while ago, and I've been sitting on them forever. Not literally, but you know what I mean. 
They've been here in my stash and I am very excited to get to use them tonight. So I'm gonna be using them inside and outside of my shaker. I am gonna add some of the yellow. The reason I love these bitty blooms is they're a nice soft yellow. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but they are like a variation. They're two different colors. So you can see the pinks. Is my camera blurry? There's like a lighter version and a darker version of each of the colors, which I think is very pretty, very fun. And these also have a flat back. So not only can you use them inside of your shakers, but you can use them on the outside too. Check that out. They come in a fun bundle, but they're super cute. I am not going to be crazy and flip all those over. It was hard, you saw me going for it. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of my bitty blooms in there, and then I'm gonna give myself a scoop of diamonds. You know the drill. There we go. And we're gonna kind of, no, I'm not gonna confuse things. I was like, we're gonna kind of do two cards at once, but I'm gonna make this card, and then we're, I'm gonna show you how I did the one with the bunny in it. Cause the chick fits perfectly for my little peekaboo heart. The bunny, we had to modify a little bit. So I will walk you through that, I won't forget. Okay, peel off that protective layer, and then I am gonna stick my little chick acetate piece with this one it definitely has like a front and a back and so i was a little bit it's a little bit slower with adhering it now i know my chick only needs one eye but let me just tell you guys when i am cutting out tiny things like with the crafty concessions i cut out probably three or four times more than what I need because I don't know if this happens to you guys, but these little guys run away from me. So I like to have a big stash. So when I'm putting my card together, I am not freaking out looking for the tiny little lips or the tiny little eyes or a little heart or the little kissy lips from, I mean, like these are just the cutest little kissy lips but you need to cut out a bunch mwah, so you have them all over the place, right? All right, I'm glad you guys agree with me. Okay, we are going to add some sheer glue. And I left my little sheer glue open, but it still loves me. There we go. All right, and I already glued the cute little chicky lips with some nice soft peach from the Bring On Spring paper pad. All right, now that my chick, there we go. I'm gonna flip it over. Sometimes it likes to wiggle around when I flip it over. We're gonna add our red liner tape. I had a big project before coming on the live tonight I actually put away a lot of dyes that have been hanging out, just waiting to go back to their home. So I did that, big project, really proud of myself. You know those moments where you're like, yes, I conquered that. Mm -hmm. We all need a little cleanup. All right, I'm gonna take my sheer glue again and add a little to my chick. I'm just kind of gonna eyeball right now. I want my little chick to be somewhere around here. So I pretty much want, I don't want my whole chick cause I still want you to be able to see some of the background. So I'm gonna do right about there. I'm gonna do a little pop up little pop out of my little chick. So there we go. And that's why I left space here so I can move my little chick around. So now that my chick is happy with its chick placement, I am going to, I'm gonna just do a little rolly adhesive on my chick wing cause I'm gonna pop that up a little bit. 
There we go. And then for my eyeball, I'm just gonna take a little dot of craft glue. And then I'm gonna take this little guy. Again, he only needs one eyeball, but look it. Just in case that one eyeball blew away in the wind here in my studio without any fans, because that's what happened to me, I have plenty of backup. So no eyeball stress today. Phew, it's a good day. Okay, now we have our cute little chick shaker. I'm gonna just peel off the protective layers on my foam here. And this is such a fun little cute card that you can even keep it. It helps if you put this on straight. There we go. I know you don't come here and expect any like type of aligned or straight things for me. Whew. All right, now look at how fun and cute that is. You've got your cute little peekaboo chick. So now that we've gotten to this place with our chick, we, uh, we're not done, but I just wanted to walk you through the adorable little bunny card. So what I did to create this shaker is I simply cut my little bunny bum off. I added an extra piece of foam from leftover foam, put that on the bottom, then I filled my little bunny and I just used the light pink pops and some diamonds. And you can see my bunny is like, maybe you can, maybe you can't, let's see. My bunny's like a light gray. Oddly enough, gray is the one ink color I don't have. So I literally just took a black dye ink pad, stamped it out and just did a little light brushing on my gray bunny. And you can't even tell, just stick with white paper. I was going above and beyond and just, you know, <laughs> you know, extra work. And now that I look at it, you can't even tell. Yes, bunny bum. I mean, our poor bunny's bum did not fit in the card. So the chick fits. And you can obviously do a card this, this angle. And you could have done, you know, your card vertically. We are going horizontal, so our bunny needed a a little bum reduction no bunny shaming here i'm done now okay i am gonna take off the backing of my red liner tape take some sheer glue i even went as far to like watercolor little tiny cheeks in there but you can't really even see those either see they're way down there. Sometimes you just go a little crazy with the detail. So again, I'm gonna just take this guy and I really want the hearts, the heart and the ears to kind of hang out together. So I'm not pushing that down yet because I wanna go up a little. And I think I'm gonna go right about there. All right, bunny, welcome to your new home. Peel off those protective pieces. Again, I just did the two sides because that's all I need for some bunny special. If you want, you could obviously go bananas and load that up with extra adhesive. But are those not just so cute? Great for the upcoming Valentine or just to say hello. This chick loves you for some bunny special. Such adorable stamps. It all starts with a cute stamp saying, then you've got a fabulous shaker. Okay, now we're going to add some hearts. And of course, I'm trying, I'm thinking and talking at the same time. And of course, we are going to add some of our bitty blossoms. Okay, I wanted to go a little heart crazy. It happens. Okay, and we are just going to, we're gonna glue, we're gonna do quick, do I wanna roll the adhesive? <gasps> decisions, decisions. I think that'll be faster. 
This is when fingernails are not your friends. Okay, so we're gonna do a fun little kind of heart, whimsical heart vibe with our sun bunny. We're gonna float around from pink to purple. I thought it'd be really cute too, to kind of like fold them in half. You could even, and just do a straight line of glue down the middle if you wanted to add a little dimension. But let's see, we're gonna do two pink ones and then we're gonna throw a couple purple ones. Again, these adorable little hearts came out of our endless add-ons. And by the time I'm done using this die, I might have a lifetime supply of hearts. So you gotta keep that kind of stuff in mind. Okay, I am very happy with my little heart layout. Now I'm gonna take some craft glue I'm gonna go bananas. It dries pretty fast, so I'm just gonna do a color at a time. So just a basic white craft glue. Bring over my bitty blooms. Grab my awesome little tool here. And because you've got a little tool for this, you can use the teeny ones or the big ones. Shoot them across your room. See, that just wanted to get closer. There we go. I picked one up that was upside down. You guys get the gist. See how fun and easy this is? It's all about the right tools. So we're gonna go some teal. We're gonna do some pink. My glue's even drying here. I'm gonna do a little one there. Okay, gotta move quickly before your glue dries and before everyone says, all right, just hurry up already, Donna. We want to see the chick too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Aren't they just so cute? I saw so many adorable uses with your bitty blooms, with your crafty concessions, just loved them. And you know, if I flipped all these guys over, okay, last but not least, we just have a couple purple ones to add. And then we're gonna do, oh, I guess I need to glue down my purple ones. There we go. A little adhesive always makes things a little easier, right? Okay. Last color. You can also use, I did notice that the gloobers, the small gloobers are back in stock. And if I noticed that way earlier, I could have stuck some gloobers on all my guys. Okay, last one, woo, we made it. Okay, so fun. Isn't it fun to add giant paper hearts and then a fun little splash of coordinating color with your bitty blooms? Mm-hmm. Okay, so some bunny special is done. We're gonna set some bunny over there and then we're gonna make this one super easy and because this paper pad is very cool, you can use the front and the back. So I am simply, I said that, and then I put the glue on the wrong side. I am using the front and the back of my blue hearts because they have some green on the back side. I almost did it again. And with something like this, you don't even really notice that you're flipping over your die because it doesn't have, you know, you can't really tell that it's the back of your die cut. And then I am just literally going to throw two hearts over here. I will spend 
no more time gluing on my bitty blooms for you guys but I will probably add some afterwards because they're too much fun. There's your adorable little chick. We're gonna add some rhinestones because we have to because they're awesome. And I feel like just like with the diamonds, if I don't use a rhinestone on every three or four cards, then you know, something's missing. And I definitely want to dot my eye with a rhinestone. All right. We did it! Two peekaboo shaker cards. A really fun and simple way to do something a little different. And again, make sure you check out all the fabulous sayings in the spring kit, because this is definitely a year-round kit. I absolutely love the carrots. So check out all of the fabulous shakers included in this kit. And remember, this chick loves you. Make a card for some bunny special, everybody. Have a fabulous evening. Thanks for joining me. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.